We actually had a lot of questions uh, about an incident that happened on the network yesterday uh, on the Pat and Stu show. Now, I was filling in for Glenn. I was not on that day. It was going to be Pat and Jeffy co-hosting the show. And I, there are a lot of people seriously worried about what actually happened here. Watch. <laughs> you got to be ashamed. <laughs> you have to be ashamed of your race. <laughs> it's, that is a, a hard, fast rule now. White people must be ashamed of their race. <clears throat> 888 back eight 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 seven two seven beck 888-727-BECK. I'm starting to think my vocal cords are seizing oh, no. up as well. Yeah. Well, I'm starting to think that I'm getting sick or something because I'm sweating. I can't stop sweating. You are uh, convincing like a I pig right here. I can't stop sweating. I think I'm getting sick. What happened? I think I'm getting sick. I was wondering that. I mean, you're like pouring. I know. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't feel good all of a sudden. Oh, you like, really don't like, feel good? You Do you want to? No, I'm fine. <laughs> you don't look fine. I'm just going to drop over. I'll be are fine. you sure? Yeah, just step over me. Are you serious? Yeah, when I drop over, just step over. Me. Are you okay, though? No, really? Right. You're all right? I mean, all right. I'm worried about you now because I've, you know, I've been seeing you out of the corner of my eye, and now I'm looking at you straight on. And, um, yeah, you don't look well. No, you, I'm ready to drop over. You do not feel good? No, I don't. Why don't you go home? I'm all right. No, no, no. We're go good. home. No. 888 back. Tell, tell Jeffy to go home. No. 888-727-BECK. So, I'm fine. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's fine. <laughs> now, I'm Jeffy fine. is generally a sweaty guy anyway, but this was to a level it of was like. like profuse. Mm, he was I, soaking wet. Like, soaking there were legitimately, wet. we were worried that something was seriously happening. And you did go off the show, which I Jeffy did. never does. He shows up at 5 o'clock in the morning on like Sundays to do shows for nobody. Um, <laughs> wait, and, wait a minute. And you, <laughs> <somebody out there. laughs> you left. Uh, you left the show and you were in your office for a while. We're waiting for the 24-hour uh, Ebola diagnosis to come through. <laughs> I'm hiding right now. The blood has not shown through to the camera now, from my eyes. So. <laughs> there's an interesting thing that happened because I don't know. Were you nauseous? What was happening there? He was nauseous, yeah. We, yes? we started yes. hearing screams that Jeffy needs ginger ale. <laughs> so we sent our, our uh, assistant, uh, Ruben, who's a lovely young man, to 7-Eleven to run and get ginger ale. Now, Ruben had never heard of ginger ale. So he's, <laughs> he had never <laughs> which heard. Which to Stu is like a travesty because Stu is the soda king of the world. Yeah. So he's calling. I don't know what ginger ale is. We said it's a soda by Canada Dry. Okay, I got it. He comes running back in, sweetest guy, with a giant Canada club soda. Dry it's club, club soda. soda. <laughs> <laughs> so not going to be helpful. I was like, this is not a good thing. So I ran out to 7-Eleven and I and, came back and with a, did. And a large did ginger ale and I threw it on his desk and I said, Your heartfelt words will be with me forever. Here's your ginger ale. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> And so far, he has. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger ale so has worked. It. So uh, it worked. Like, yeah. Well, we're, g we're glad you're better and alive. Yes. Really? Well, kind of. But we do uh, care about each other because that was one of the questions. Yeah, there we go. <laughs>